Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create this project status tracker in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, here on column A, we have a different task name. These are some dummy task name. You can change it with your original task name. We have given here eight stages for each task. You can change it as you want. Then we have here check boxes. You can check if that stage is completed automatically this progress percentage as well as this progress bar will be changed and the overall progress percentage of the project as well as the overall progress bar will be changed automatically. You can see or you uncheck then that will be changed automatically. Okay, so this is completely automatic project status tracker you can use this for your business or personal use now i will explain you how you can create this in google sheets step by step so please watch this video till the end i'm going to add a new sheet here just click on this plus icon add sheet we have a new sheet that is sheet 2 so first of all on the top we will create this header wherein you can input the title of your template so let's select A till column K and use merge cells. You can put here, let's say I'm putting project status tracker in Google Sheet. Increase the row height, align this center and middle. Increase the font size. Take the font name as Arial Rounded and uh, fill some background color. So I'm taking this dark green color and font I'm taking white increase the font size around 18 or 20 reduce the row height of row number 2 and row number 4 and will increase for row number 3 okay now here we will create the overall progress bar as well as the progress percentage okay like we have created here so let's select these three cells and use merge cells and rest all other cells and merge cells now we will select this whole range we will go to the border and take some dark green color we have taken this one and use this outer border all right now here we can input as project progress and select this cell and align this middle and center okay increase the font size slightly and we can fill here some green color let's say this dark green one and font take white here we will calculate the percentage and here we will show the progress now let's go to this row which is a5 and here we will take these all task name eight state and the progress bar as well as the progress percentage okay so let's type here task name and this will be stage one and we can pick this stage one and move to the different stages i have taken here stage otherwise you can take it as you want if you need four five then you can keep it accordingly okay and here we can select these two cells and use merge cells and we will show here progress all right now let's select this range and take some more rows and then go to the align center and middle we will go to the fill color and from here we'll go to the alternating colors and we can choose here any custom style any default style or we can create our own custom style also so let's say i'm taking this style which is already available and say done the header color i'll give white color so let's take the font color white here now we will input some task name dummy task name for now i'm just putting here let's say task one and uh, the other task also so i'm just saying okay let's say from task one till task 18 okay now we will select this range wherein we have to create the checkbox for different stages select this go to the insert and insert the checkbox so we can see the checkbox here reduce the font size let's take this custom green color this one okay or you can take the dark green also this one 
all right now if i check then you can see it is looking green and here we will show the percentage and here we will show the progress bar first go to the view so uncheck the grid lines so the grid lines are not visible now and we can show here the progress percentage and to show the progress percentage we will use the count if function so you can see if i check this then it is showing true if i uncheck then it is showing false here in the formula bar so what we can do we can first let's count the check one so we can use count if and select this range comma take the criteria as true because if it is checked the criteria will be true if it is checked then it will show true and if it is unchecked then it will show false just hit the enter just click here or control enter so it will be auto filled now we can see one checkbox is checked so it is showing the one if i check one more then you can see it is getting changed to show this in the percentage we can divide it by eight because we know we have eight stages okay so let's divide it by eight now fill this down and we have to change this in the percentage form so we can take this percentage and uh, if you don't want to take the decimal just remove that so it is complete percentage now quickly we can check some values so that we can see it it is looking good okay so we have checked few of the check boxes now we will create here the progress bar to create the progress bar we will use the spark lines function so use here spark line and first we will select the data data is this comma then in the option we will use the curly bracket first and close the curly bracket and within this curly bracket we will start writing our formula so first thing we will use here chart type in the inverted comma chart type and close the inverted comma then put comma and chart type will be bar chart okay now put the semicolon to separate uh, with the new property and we will put here max value comma the max will be one or 100 percent because if you check all then this will come to the 100 percent let's put here one and just hit the enter you can see a spark line here and uh, if you check then you can see it is getting increased because that percentage is getting increased so that is also getting increased till the 100 percent if you want to change the color of this so you can put one more property of the color so put the semicolon then the new property that is color one in the inverted comma put the comma and uh, again in the inverted comma let's put here green okay and just hit the enter so we can see it is in green and just fill this down all right so this is working fine now here in this cell we will count the total percentage of the project so how we will count uh, total percentage so let's use the count if function here first and select this range and till the end comma let's count only true that means checked values are being uh, counted here you can see if i check then it is getting change so total check value we are counting and divided by the total opportunities which are count a so if it is true or false it will always count so let's select here till here count a b6 till i and you can take again till 1000 so that new data will be added that will be considered automatically convert this into percentage if you want to remove the decimal you can remove it other, otherwise you can keep it as it is change the font let's take this one make this bold and if you want to change the font color you can take this one now if i check you can see that percentage is getting changed now same formula we can use uh, here also to show the big progress let's use again spark line select this data comma put the curly bracket start and end and within this curly bracket use inverted comma and the first property will be chart type comma that will be a bar chart comma 
then put here max value comma max will be 100 percent or one right comma if you want to change the color also use color one for the bar chart comma then use here green you can take other colors also just hit the enter okay it is showing some error just because the next property should be semicolon separated for example here we have taken chart type bar then we should show the semicolon then max one then again it should show the semicolon okay this was the issue so we can see that is appearing now if i check then you can see the total progress bar also getting changed all right friends so that is how you can create the project status tracker in google sheets friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching